Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of Fun with English, Grade 4, Book A. I am Sakina Kankuni and I'll present Episode 5, Unit 1, Health is Wealth. Today, we'll focus on punctuation and writing composition. Boys and girls, before going through our new episode for today, let's check your previous homework. You had a homework on your pupil's book, page 25. Look at the clocks and complete using going to. The first one is done for you. Number one, I'm going to have lunch at two o'clock. Let's look at picture number two. We have the clock showing 10 o'clock. My mother is going to read a book at 10 o'clock. What about number three? The clock shows eight o'clock. My friends are going to play tennis at eight o'clock. I hope you answered it correctly. Now let's move on to our new episode for today. Let's focus on the writing. Remember the punctuation rules. Number one, use full stop. We should use a full stop at the end of sentences. And use a question mark if you have a question. Don't forget to capitalize. We use capital letter at the beginning of the sentence. And if we have name of people, name of places, days of the week, months and the pronoun I, I capitalize all these cases. Let's practice the punctuation marks. Punctuate the following sentences. Number one, he likes running. He likes running. Take a minute and try to use the correct punctuation marks. That's right. He, the capital letter in the first letter of the word he, then we use the full stop at the end of the sentence. So, capital H in the word he because it is the beginning of the sentence and full stop at the end of the sentence. He likes running. Let's move to number two. Listen carefully. Are you going to sleep? Are you going to sleep? Make sure if it is a sentence or a question. Are you going to sleep? And use the correct punctuation mark. Take a minute. That's right, boys and girls. Here, the letter A in the word R is capitalized because it is the beginning of a question. Then, we used question mark at the end of the question. Are you going to sleep? Again, the A in the word R is capitalized because it is the beginning of a question and we use the question mark at the end of the question. Number three, listen carefully. You should keep fit. You should keep fit. Use the correct punctuation mark to punctuate the sentence. Take a minute. Well done, boys and girls. Excellent. We used capital Y because it is the beginning of the sentence and a full stop at the end of a sentence. Let's move on to the writing rubrics. Number one, the graphic organizer. Answer the giving guiding questions using phrases. Don't use words, use phrases. Number two, the paragraph. Use phrases to write complete sentences in your paragraph. State the main idea, organize your ideas, add supporting details, and make your last sentence a conclusion to end your paragraph with. Remember, boys and girls, we as teachers use certain rubrics to check your answers and writing. Pre-writing techniques. That means the graphic organizer. Remember that when you use the graphic organizer, write your answers and phrases, not only words. Exploration of ideas and number of sentences. Remember that you have to make sure how many sentences you are asked to write in your paragraph. Layout and format. Make sure that you use the correct layout and format of your writing. If you are asked to write an email, use the layout or format of an email, same as with your paragraph. And handwriting and punctuation. Make sure that you use clean and neat handwriting and punctuation mark with correct capitalization. Next in the rubrics, we focus on your clear and neat handwriting along with the punctuation marks. Tips for your writing. 
Number one, use correct punctuation marks. Use the correct punctuation marks. Number two, vary your ideas. Vary your ideas. Number three, write full sentences. Number four, check your spelling. Now, let's move on to the graphic organizer. Fill in the graphic organizer, then use it to write a paragraph about sports. The following guide words may help you. Hockey, help, stick, gloves, club, twice. Again, hockey, help, stick, gloves, club, and twice. Let's look at the questions in the graphic organizer. Number one, what is your favorite sport? Number two, how did you learn it? Number three, what do you need to play it? Number four, how many times do you play it? Remember, boys and girls, we'll write about sports and we'll use the guide questions along with the guide words to help us write our paragraph about sports. All right, boys and girls, let's answer the questions in the graphic organizer. Number one, what's your favorite sport? What is your favorite sport? Let's look at the guide words. Hockey, help, stick, gloves, club, and twice. Again, what is your favorite sport? I will use the word hockey from the guide words and I'll say ice hockey. Number two, how did you learn it? How did you learn it? We have the words hockey, help, stick, gloves, club, and twice. We'll answer, my dad helped me. My dad helped me. I use the word help from the guide words. Number three, what do you need to play it? What do you need to play it? We have the words hockey, help, stick, gloves, club, and twice. The answer is special clothes, skates, gloves, hockey, stick. I used the word hockey stick and I added some words from my own. Number four, how many times do you play it? How many times do you play it? Again, we have the words hockey, help, stick, gloves, club, twice. Twice a week. How many times do you play it? Twice a week. Now, let's look at the graphic organizer. Number one, the question was, what is your favorite sport? We answered, ice hockey. Number two, how did you learn it? We answered, my dad helped me. Number three, what do you need to play it? We answered, special clothes, skates, gloves, hockey stick. Number four, how many times do you play it? Twice a week. So, we'll write a paragraph using the graphic organizer and our answers about sports. Let's put it together. What is your favorite sport? We'll take ice hockey and use it in a full sentence and start writing our paragraph. Before writing our paragraph, we'll add the title sports. My favorite sport is playing ice hockey. My favorite sport is playing ice hockey. Remember, we'll leave a space, start with capital letter and end the sentence with a full stop. Remember, boys and girls, we are going to use the answers from the graphic organizer in full sentences when writing our paragraph. Number two, how did you learn it? We answered, my dad helped me. So I will take the answer from the graphic organizer and use it in full and sentences. My favorite sport is playing ice hockey. This was our previous sentence. We'll use my dad helped me in complete sentence. My dad help me learn about it. Number three, what do you need to play it? We answered special clothes, skates, gloves, hockey stick. I will use the answer from the graphic organizer in a complete sentence. I need special clothes, gloves, skates, and hockey stick to play it. Very good boys and girls. Next, how many times do you play it? We answered twice a week. We'll take the answer from the graphic organizer and use it in complete answer and sentence to write our paragraph. I play it 
twice a week in the club. I play it twice a week in the club. Now, let's read the paragraph about sports. My favorite sport is playing ice hockey. My dad helped me learn about it. I need special clothes, gloves, skates, and hockey stick to play it. I play it twice a week in the club. Don't forget to write your title before start writing your paragraph. Leave a space and start with capital letter and end each sentence with a full stop. Use neat and clean handwriting and make sure of your spelling and punctuation marks. Your homework for today is on Pupil's Book, page 22. Fill in the diagram and write a short paragraph about sports. I will do the diagram with you. We'll name some water sports like swimming and sailing. Winter sports like skiing and skating. Favorite sports like walking and cycling. Sports played with a ball like basketball and volleyball. And names of Kuwaiti players we have Badr al Mtawa and Fahad al Anizi. We'll use the answers to write a paragraph about sports. That's all with our episodes, boys and girls, for today. In this episode, we have learned lots of things. We learned how to punctuate sentences and how to write a short paragraph about sports. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you on the next episode. Goodbye for now.